and to think, well, that is a very far-fetched scenario, but it's important to put that scenario on the table. Please go check out rebelstoreza.com. Their winter range is now available. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Moments. Real Moments are sections from longer interviews done on my channel that I think you guys might find interesting. Your Real Moment is in. Is EWC or could EWC not also trigger a civil war? Well, look, I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people I think would be uh, very loath to uh, part with their property, right? So, um, you know, and as you mentioned earlier, we have these moves towards uh, prohibiting firearm ownership for self-defense purposes. I think a lot of gun owners are going to be uh, very reluctant to uh, part with their firearms. And, you know, I think that the state should be very careful in this regard. I mean, I think the legitimacy of the state is a very fragile thing. And the state in a democratic society has a monopoly on the use of force, but not an exclusive right to the use of force. And firearms are, you know, an important while I have you here, why don't you please go down in the description below and check out support my channel where you can support me for as little as 40 rand a month. And also you get some perks, but you got to use the quick link to get access to these perks. Again, links in the description below. And don't forget, subscribing is always free. A method of self-defense for people, ordinary citizens, law-abiding citizens who have been let down by the state, uh, by the by the police force that is supposed to protect them. Uh, and Firearm ownership, this is something that personally I've changed my view on uh, over the years. You know, I think it's an important way of diffusing power in society. And also, it's, an, it's a check on the concentration of power by the state. Um, you know, so I think the state is very weak and is, I think, reaching, overreaching uh, in this regard on firearms and on land. And that could trigger, you know, massive unrest um, and resistance against the state. And, you know, I think uh, it's, you know, very uh, tempting to kind of think from the status quo and to think, well, that is a very far-fetched scenario, but it's important to put that scenario on the table. Um, so definitely, I think EWC, uh, you know, could create this kind of uh, metastasization of conflicts all over the country, definitely. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your real moment. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please feel free to share it with your friends and family or whoever you think might find it interesting. Give the video a like. It goes a long way to supporting the channel and helping it grow. And this is your second reminder to please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. And please go check out the Telegram channel. It's a channel, not a group. You just get notified of all the upcoming uploads and live streams on this channel. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.